aimed at um, younger players or beginners or people that just aren't super into their gear and stuff but um, a question I get asked about a lot is um, what pedals I use or more specifically what distortion pedals I use but um, I don't use any distortion pedals it's really important to get all your sound from uh, a really good amplifier and just quickly another thing I get asked about is what settings I use and I really don't mind sharing them but it's just that these amps are custom modded for me um, so this amp, which is a JCM800, sounds nothing like a normal JCM800. So even if you had the same amp, these settings would sound completely different on another amp. Or you know, if, if you've got, you don't even have a Marshall and you ask what settings I have to try and copy them on your amp, every amp is really different. Every amp's got completely different um, voicings and sort of middle and treble and stuff. So what might sound like a lot of treble um, on my amp is like nowhere near enough on another one. So that's something to bear in mind. So in, in terms of um, pedals that I do use, I do use an overdrive pedal, but the, the difference it makes is so subtle. Basically the way I use it, and the vast majority of metal bands use uh, an overdrive pedal as well, it's a very like, common thing to do, is just use it to boost the volume. Um, there, there are two ways to boost it, either just have it on at all times for your rhythm sound, or just kick it on as a boost for leads, but this wouldn't be boosting volume, just boosting gain, saturation and sustain and stuff. So the way we use them, um, there's always like a, a gain control, a tone control, and a volume control. Um, we have the gain sort of backed off tone, just sort of at 12 o'clock, and, um, and you're really just boosting the volume. And what this does is it boosts your signal going into the front, of the, uh, front end of the amp, and by the time it hits the front end, uh, it's going to be compressed. Um, and basically what it does is it really evens out the low end, and brings out a bit more pick attack and articulation and just gives you a really consistent um, sort of rhythm sound. Uh, like I say, some people have leave their, the pedal off when they're playing riffs and stuff and just kick it on for solos. Even if you've got the volume boosted on the pedal, um, because of if you're using a fair amount of gain, it really won't actually, um, you won't really hear a, a, an increase in the volume, you'll just hear more saturation and sustain and stuff. Um, but like I say, we just have, we use them and just have them on at all times just to sort of even out the rhythm playing. Um, I've got in the habit of not really using them as much recording. Um, and like I say, sometimes I use it for certain riffs, sometimes I kick it off, especially for like more chordy parts where they sound a bit thicker with, uh, without the pedal on. Um, and it's so subtle you wouldn't really hear the differences. But um, I'll, I'll do some tone demos and uh, you can sort of hear um, what it is doing, but it is a really minute thing. So if you're gonna, uh, if you wanted to save up for like a good distortion pedal, I'd recommend saving up even longer and just trying to get a good second-hand uh, amp that sounds good um, on its own. And the pedal is just a, a little extra thing um, to add that will just bring it to life a bit more. But you should really just be getting a really decent um, head to get all your your tones from. Uh, instead of buying loads of pedals and stuff. Alright, so uh, this is my um, Maxon OD808 Overdrive. I think I've had this since about 2006 and it's been all over the world. It's been to America, India, um, Australia, all around Europe. And uh, when we first started touring I didn't even have a pedal board so it's been just in a bag and just been bashed around and still hasn't broken or anything but you can see it's kind of a bit of a state. But, um, yeah, so basically, I've tried a few different overdrive pedals, um, Maxim ones, uh, Ibanez. Basically, Maxim used to make, um, I think used to make the pedals for Ibanez um, until they sort of split off and did their own thing. Uh, I think that's the case anyway. So um, the difference between like a OD808 and an Ibanez OD, I think, I don't even know if they call it the OD808 or not. But um, like I say, the way we use them um, just as a boost, which this one says balance, but that's just um, essentially the volume. That's overdrive, which is kind of like gain, but you can't really get a distorted sound out of it. Even if we got it all on full, it's just a overdrive, a light distortion, and obviously tone in the middle. Um, so yeah, basically, if you you know have a Maxim one or an Ibanez one, um, like I say, the way we're using it just to boost the volume, the signal of the uh, the guitar going into the amp. It, it doesn't make a huge difference which pedal you're using. Um, 
at least as you know uh, the ones I've tried. I think the Boss Overdrive did sound a bit different. It was not quite as um, didn't have quite as much attack. So I'll, I'll do some tone clips and I'll, I'll show you uh, some sounds with it on and off. But like I say, it's a very subtle. Um, well, it's not really effect, but um, it's just a very subtle change in the tone when you're using it and when you're not using it. But it can really help if you're flying into a show and you don't have an amp that you're used to and uh, you need to get a bit more gain from it. So this pedal on its own through a clean channel on an amp will not give you anywhere near a distorted kind of metal tone. This is the sound of the amp, just completely normal without the pedal on. And using the same settings that um, you saw in the previous clip, this is with it on. So I'll, I'll go from playing and then I'll kick it on. So when you pick uh, a lot lighter, you can kind of hear uh, the differences. When you pick a bit heavier, it's not quite as obvious. So if I pick super light. instantly makes you sound like you're picking harder and a bit more aggressive but um, when you are picking hard and aggressive uh, it's just a subtle difference um, so for lead sounds the difference uh, you hear you instantly hear a difference in the sustain this is with it off So I've got it off again, I'll just do some uh, kind of riffing stuff. Alright, so this is with it off. So you can kind of hear it's not super different and if you pick heavy and consistently the difference will be kind of subtle but it is there and uh, like I say it depends on the amp you're playing through sometimes you don't really need one I don't always need one with these heads but um, like I say if you're not using your own head or uh, you know if you're flying into a different country and you don't have your own gear it's really handy to have one because you can just um, bring out a bit more gain or tightness from amps that don't always have it.